Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about Q implementation using two stacks. The explanation is completely based on the assumption that you already have some basic coding knowledge. If you are not good at basic coding, please visit our website learningmonkey.in. Take the course placement training for service based companies, then come for the competitive coding. Coming to today's class, we need to implement a queue using two stacks. They are going to give you two stacks. We need to use that stacks. Using those stacks, we need to implement a queue operation. First, we will refresh the concept of queue operation. What is queue operation means? First in, first out. In our basic course, when we discussed the data structures, we implemented queue using a and taking an array and we are taking two variables front variable and rear variable front variable is to take the output from the when uh, if you want to do dq operation we are going to use front variable if you want to do nq operation we, we are going to use rear variable using these two variables we have done the logic uh, means nq means insert an element into the queue dq means remove an element from the queue what Q has to follow? First in, first out. So this is the first element. Next element, next element, next element. If you want to insert a new element, suppose NQ of 5, you have to insert an element 5. You have to place it here using rare variable. If you want to DQ an element from the Q, first in, first out. What is the first element? It, this has to be taken out first. First in, first out. That is what Q is. Now coming to today's example, we need to implement this queue operations using two stacks. We should not use any extra space. Using two stacks, we have to implement that. So take two stacks, S1 and S2, we have to implement queue. So what's the logic? We can go with two ways. First, first way and second way, both are, uh, we, we can implement both the ways, but we have implemented the first way. We will explain both the ways. See we have taken two stacks what are the stack operations last in first out stack is having stack top so on s1 we what's the operations that present on stack push an element on top of the stack pop an element from the top of the stack push an element and pop an element on from the top of the stack see if you want to insert one so initially s1 is empty so that's why we have inserted one onto the s1 so next, if you want to insert two onto the stack, uh, two onto the uh, two onto the queue, so we have provided with two stacks. Uh, so if you insert two on top of the stack, uh, what's the queue operation? If you want to remove an element from the queue, you have to remove first in, first out. Uh, but on S1, you can do only one operation, push or pop operation. What's that? Uh, push means element push on to the top of the stack pop means remove an element from the top of the stack but what is q first in first out if you want to remove an element from this stack you have to remove this one this is the first element which inserted if this stack has to work as an q what's the element you have to pop the last element you have to pop is it possible on stack no it's not possible on stack that's why during the insertion you have to make sure that the first inserted element should be on the top of the stack you have to make sure that is what the logic we have to write always the first inserted element should be on the top of the stack so that you can easily remove that first element it works as a queue how we do that how we do that if we need to work as a queue that is first in first out always place first input element on top of the stack how we do that whenever you want to insert the second element onto the stack see this one should be on top of the stack if you want to make this one on top of the stack first pop all the elements that present in s1 and place it in s2 pop all the elements from the s1 and place it in s2 now place two onto the top on the stack then again place all the elements pop all the elements from s2 and place onto the s1 if you follow this always the first input element should be on the top of the stack move all elements s1 to s2 push new element onto s1 
then again move all elements from S2 to S1. Then the first element will be on the top of the stack. How, 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 why it is? We will check once. See, what is the element present in S1? 1. Move all the elements on to S2. 1 will be on S2. Now place, what is the new element? 2. Push 2 on to the S1. Again move all the elements on to S1. So 2, 1. This is the output you are going to get. What is there on the top of the stack? 1 is there on the top of the stack. That is first inserted element is there on the top of the stack. This is how we are going to do. What is the NQ operation you have to do? Move all the elements from S1 onto the S2. Push the new element onto S1. Again move all the elements from S2 to S1. If you want to insert 3 onto the stack, what is the stack now? 2, 1. Move all the elements onto S2. If you move all the elements from S1 to S2, pop 1 and place it in S2. Pop 2 and place it in S2. 1, 2. Now, place the new element onto S1. What is the new element? 3 will be placed on S1. 3 is like this. Again, move all the elements onto the S1. Pop 2 and place it on here. Pop 1 and place it on S1. What does the S1 look like? 3, 2, 1. What is there on the top of the stack? First inserted element is there on the top of the stack. That is what the NQ operation you have to perform using two stacks. Then the top element will be on the first inserted element. Now if you want to do DQ operation, it is very very simple. Pop the element from S1. What is that one? First inserted element. So one will be taken up. If you want to do DQ again, what is there on the top of the stack? 2. Second inserted element is there on the top of the stack. So, remove it. If stack is empty, means Q is empty, you have to return minus 1. You have to display minus 1. If you want to DQ, display 1. Again DQ, display 2. Again DQ, display 3. Again DQ, there are no elements. You have to display minus 1. This is the operation we have to go with. Coming to the second way, we will go with opposite way. Opposite. Whatever we have done here in the first way, exactly opposite we are going to do. See, whenever you want to, second way is, whenever you want to do NQ operation, insert 1. Blindly push the element onto the S1. 1. Insert 2, push onto the S1. Insert 3, push onto the S1. If you want to do pop operation, means DQ operation. So, if you if you DQ this S1, what is the element that is last in first out? It acts as stack, but it should be act as Q. So, what we will do here is, what is the stack consist of? S1 consist of 1, 2, 3. What is the element you have to DQ? This last element should be, this is first element should be DQ'd. How you do that? Push all the elements, take all the elements from S1 and place it on S2. 3, pop and place it here. 2, pop and place it here. 1, pop and place it here. What is there on the top of the stack? S2. First inserted element. Remove it. And again, place it on S1. This is the logic we are going to use. So, if you want to do DQ operation, 3, 2, 1, move all elements from S1 to S2, pop S2. Then move all elements from S2 to S1. This is second way. Either way, you can go with the, we are, the code which given below follows the first method. Our suggestion, suggestion is to try, uh, after listening to the logic, you try to solve it on your own, then check for the solution. You try both the ways. So, this is the code. Anyway, this code is available in our website learningmonkey.in. You can go there and uh, you can copy the code and you can execute it. Hope you understand this example. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.